Beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. Matthew chapter 14 verse 30 Sinking times are praying times with the Lord's servants. Peter neglected prayer when started his adventurous journey, but when he began to sink, his danger made him a suppliant, and his cry though late was not too late. In our hours of bodily pain and mental anguish, we find ourselves as naturally driven to prayer as the wreck of a ship is naturally driven upon the shore by the waves. The fox runs to its hole for protection, the bird flies to the woods for shelter, and even so the tried believer hastens to the mercy seat for safety. Heaven's great harbor of refuge is all prayer, Thousands of weather-beaten vessels have found a haven there. The moment a storm comes on, it is wise for us to make for it with all sail. Short prayers are long enough. There were only three words in the petition which Peter gasped out, but they were sufficient for his purpose. Not length, but strength, is desirable. A sense of need is a mighty teacher of brevity. If our prayers had less of the tail feathers of pride and more wings, they would be all the better. Wordiness is to devotion as chaff is to the wheat. Precious things take up small spaces, and all that is real prayer in many long addresses might have been uttered in a petition as short as that of Peter. Our extremities are the Lord's opportunities. Immediately, a keen sense of danger forces an anxious cry from us. The ear of Jesus hears, and with him, his ear and heart go together, and his hand does not linger long. Even when we appeal to our Master at the last moment, his swift hand makes up for our delays by instant and effectual action. Are we nearly engulfed by the boisterous waters of affliction? Let us then lift up our souls unto our Saviour, and we may rest assured that he will not allow us to perish. When we can do nothing, Jesus can do all things. Let us enlist his powerful aid upon our side, and all will be well. Amen.